Hey there everyone, this is Cursed Tags Fusion, and we just got the Slocum's Joe Camp Object Bundle in the Adam Shop, uh, July 7th. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with this, uh, I spent the last couple of hours trying to build something onto my camp, and I uh, wanted to show it for you all right now. Uh, we are back here at Watoga Highway, um, with my bunker. Uh, did a few touch-ups and also added this nice little mobile custom uh, Slocum's Joe coffee shop out here. Uh, I put on my uh, pink power armor, my sprinkle power armor for this video. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. I love the way it came out. I love the way it looks. Um, they really brought in the whole package with all these items. And it makes everything look really, really, really nice. In particular, I love the new vending machines. I hope they do even more uh, with this kind of thing. Please, please, Bethesda, give me a raider set. I would love to build a uh, a raiding vending place. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, it, it turns out really nicely. I've had a whole lot of people come by and take pictures of it. Uh, I got seating here for everybody, sprinkle seats. Uh, I did the whole countertop surrounding the whole way. Um, didn't do much to the back because I just kind of wanted that presentation on the front. Uh, put my resource extractor there. Uh, he just kind of stares at the screen all day. And, um, apparently picks up some stuff for me, which is nice. I have uh, power pylons going to it. Make sure it has power coming through the ground. I think it looks way better than just the regular vending machines I had in there previously. Now uh, let me go ahead and show you uh, under the highway my bunker. Not a whole lot has changed, the main structure is about the same, um, but I have used some of the uh, most recent Adam Shop and uh, Nuclear Winter Rewards in my build. Oh, I got the radiation barrel and it looks super nice out here low and conspicuous. Finally was able to uh, fill out my shelves using a couple of glitches so it makes it look nice and homey and cluttered. Uh, I love this glitch. I, you know, the score system's also been really good. Hopefully here in, here in the future I'll be able to get some of the score rewards and uh, make this cave a little bit more uh, spooky and gloomy. Now here soon they're going to have a, um, a whole bunch of sheep squatch decorations. I'm super excited and looking forward to that. I tried to clutter this place up even more than I had in the first video, uh, first and second video. If you have any questions about how to build a, a bunker like this or something similar, I do have a video up on my channel that you can check out. Just the amount of clutter that Bethesda has given us or some decorations to make sure everything's filled and looks nice. Back here is all of my trophies. Um, kind of filled everything out. Finally beat my first one to go Colossus. And this whole shelf is filled with all of my sheep squatch staffs, my collection I've been building up. My sheep squatch plushie will go there in the future. And if you don't know about this place, uh, you do get a unlimited supply of stealth boys that spawn here every few hours, right here next to this ash pile. And one more walk through here. Um, I, I really, really love this bundle that came out. It was super affordable. I uh, haven't found a way to integrate the, uh, the train cart just yet, but it's super nice. I know I can definitely make a, a trading post out of that as well. Um, this is all max budget and uh, thanks guys for checking out my video and hopefully see you guys stop by here soon. I had a lot of fun with this and I've just I've been loving everything that's been coming out so far. Hopefully some more videos in the future. Uh, hopefully to get I'm hoping to get a better mic so I won't be sounding like this the whole time. Um, but yeah, thanks again for checking out my video, and I hope you guys have a nice day. See you soon.